We're going to review factors. Factors are when two or numbers are multiplied, each number is a factor of the product. So for example, 1 and 12 multiply to 12, 2 and 6 multiply to 12, 3 and 4 multiply to 12. Those are all factors of 12. We're going to work with integers here. You won't have fractions or decimals. We're going to only be working with integers. I could also do negative 1, negative 12, negative 2, negative 6, negative 3, negative 4. All of those would be factors of 12. A prime number has exactly two factors, the number itself and 1. So the prime number is less than 20, I've listed here. The only numbers, whole numbers that go into 2 are itself and 1, so 2 and 1. The only factors that go into 3 are 3 itself and 1, and so on. A composite number will have more than two factors. So it will have one in itself and additional ones. So the numbers that go into four are one and four, but it also has two. So it has more than two factors. And so here are some examples of composite numbers that are less than 20. For greatest common factor, that's the greatest whole number that is a factor common to the given monomial. Okay, so if I have the greatest common factor for eight and 12, I would list out the factors of eight and list out the factors of 12, and factors are fewer. So they're gonna have to be fewer than your smallest number you have here. So my smallest number is eight, so my factor has to be fewer or equal to eight. It can be equal. Multiples are more, and people mix those up. So greatest common doesn't mean the number is huge. Um, it's the greatest common factor. Factors are fewer. So my number I'm going to look for has to be fewer than 8. A little trick I like to do is just write out the factors of the smaller one, and then check and see which of those 8 doesn't go into 12, 4 does. So that will be the greatest common factor. So I can skip listing out the uh, numbers in the other one. Let's go ahead and practice some examples. I want to find the factors of 18. Okay, so I have 1 and 18. Those multiply to 18. And then I just like to count up. So I start with 1. My next number is 2. 2 does go into 18. So I have 2 and 9. The next number after 2 is 3 and 6. And the only numbers between 3 and 6 are 4 and 5. And 4 and 5, neither of those go into 18, so those are my factors. Factors of 24, you have 1, I'm going to skip some space and write 24. Next number after 1 is 2, so I have 2 and 12. Next number after 2 is 3, 3 goes into 24 8 times. Next number after 3 is 4. So notice I'm just going up from 1 here. So I have 4 and 6. And the only numbers between 4 and 6 I have left to test is 5. And 5 does not go into 24, so there's my list. The next three numbers after, prime numbers after 19. Okay, so let's look at 20. 20 has 1 and 20, but it also has 2 and 10, 4 and 5, so it has extra, so 20 is not going to work. 21 has 1 and 21, but it also has 3 and 7, so that won't work. 22, you have 1 and 22, but 2 and 11 also work, so we got some extra ones there. 23, the only numbers that go into 23 are 1 and 23, so that's prime. 24 has 1, 24, but it also has 2, 12, and several others. If you look above, we just did it for 24. 25 has 1 and 25, but it also has 5, so it is not prime. 26 has 1, 26, but it also has 2 and 13, so that's not going to work. 27, the 3 goes into 27, so that's an extra one, so that's not going to work. 28 has extra ones. 29 does not. 30 has extra factors. 31 does not. So the only numbers that go into 23 are 1 and 23. Only numbers that go into 29 are 1 and 29. 
only numbers that go into 31 are 1 and 31. It has exactly two factors, itself and 1. The next three composite numbers after 18, well, we know 19 is not composite, it's prime. But then we have 20, 21, and 22. Those have extra factors besides 1 in itself. As long as you can think of one extra factor, it's going to be composite. The two whole numbers that are neither prime nor composite are 0 and 1. For the greatest common factor, you can list the factors of 15, so 1 and 15, 3 and 5, 2 didn't work, and the only number between here is 4. So I start with 1, then I go 2, it didn't work, then 3 works, 4 doesn't work, and then I've already got everything after 5. You could list the factors of 70, but I think it's a little bit faster just to list the smaller ones factors and then test them. Does 15 go into 70? No, so I have to throw that out. So you can check that on your calculator if you wanted to. So 70 divided by 15 is 4.6 repeating, so 15 didn't work. 70 divided by 5, we know that one's going to work, so it does work. So that is our greatest common factor, it is 5. On this one, I would just list 16. You could list all the factors of 16, all the factors of 24, and all the factors of 28, but I'm kind of lazy, so I like to just list the smaller one. So I have 1 and 16, 2 and 8, 3 doesn't work. And then 4 and 4 work, and there's no number between 4 and 4, so I'm done. And then test to see. So does 16 go into 24? No. Does 8 go into 24? Yes. Does 8 go into 28? No. So I'm going to have to throw out 8. And then check 4. Does 4 go into 24? Yes. Does 4 go into 28? Yes. So there's my greatest common factor. On the next one, you can list the factors of 20. So I have 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 3 doesn't go into it, 4 does, so I have 4 and 5, and there's no number between 4 and 5, so I've got them all listed. And then if you check which ones go into 21, that doesn't go into 21, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't. The only one they have in common is 1. You could list out the factors of 21 if you wanted to. So it's 1, 21, 3, and 7. But you'll see that these numbers don't go into 20. So 1 is the greatest common factor. Now we have some letters for number 9. 2 and 5 do not have anything but 1 in common. This has x's that has y's, so x and y have nothing in common, so my greatest common factor is just 1. On the next one, the biggest number that goes into 7 and 14 is 7. This has yy and this has yyy, so they have two y's multiplied together in common, so I'm going to have y squared on that one. And then on the next one, 4 is the number that they have in common. 4 goes into 12 and 4 goes into 4. This has 1a, this has a squared, so they have an a in common. Factors are fewer, so they only have 1a that they have in common. And then they also only have 1b that they have in common. And so that is my greatest common factor. We are done with the notes.